It's a Friday night pizza, and uh, here's the beginning of the heat source. We've got a chimney here full of charcoal briquettes getting good and hot. That will be the base to generate enough heat to get our hardwood burning good and hot. And uh, that hardwood is chopped up a little bit larger than, than typical kindling, but still, you know, no bigger than one inch by one inch in any dimensions. And over here our, is our assembly that we put on over that, which is uh, just a standard grill with a smaller grill stood off by stainless steel bolts. I've got two pizza stones. The one on the bottom is a heat shield. The one on the top is the cooking surface. Okay, so now we've got a really hot bed of coals. I've got that spread out pretty good. It's no more than two inches deep at any one point. And it's just getting good and red hot, you can see. Um, over here, I've measured up, uh, you know, two handfuls of wood. So that's maybe taking a look at that. You can see about 10 pieces. So this is how I've uh, just placed those pieces in. And we're going to let those get good and in flame before I do anything more. You can see already that uh, the flames are shooting up on that uh, back side there. This is well dried hardwood and this will be fully engulfed in a, in a couple minutes. Um, you don't want to put the lid on until they're all good and inflamed because you just create a lot of smoke. Uh, in case you're wondering, this is an old Weber barbecue. Someone actually threw it out on big garbage day. Um, this one doesn't have the heat shield on the handle, so you have to be pretty careful with, uh, once it gets really hot, that you want to use oven mitts. Um, the bottom of this, the vent control has, has disappeared, so those are wide open. And that works well because you can gauge the heat um, based on how much you leave the lid cracked. I always leave the vent fully closed on the, on the Weber lid. You can see that uh, almost all of the hardwood is blackened now. Uh, flames are shooting up. This is really hot right now. I'm about to put the uh, pizza stone assembly on top of that and uh, put the lid on and just uh, leave that cracked about one inch. I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. Okay, I've put the assembly on top. You can see the uh, flames coming up around that heat shield, around the main cooking stone. And now I'm going to put the lid on and uh, that's about an inch. And I'm just going to leave it like that and go make the pizza. So I make my own dough and this is uh, made about noon and it's risen throughout the afternoon. Um, I've taken one of those already and flattened it out just by hand with some flour on the countertop. And I've put that on a pizza peel, but I've used about uh, two tablespoons of cornmeal underneath. So what you can see is that pizza dough moves around uh, very easy when, I'm, when I move the peel. So it's been about 15 minutes since I closed the lid on the barbecue. This is smoking hot. Here's my peel. Get my pizza on the stone here. You can see that cornmeal. There we go. Put that on. Put the lid back on. Leave it about a half an inch. And uh, make sure you use a, an oven mitt. That's smoking hot. Now, start the timer. We'll say five minutes. Okay. So it's been five minutes since I put this pizza on. And uh, there it is. You see the crust is nice and crispy, the cheese is bubbling. And I'm just going to take that off like this and move that over to the table. How does that look? Just before we <clears throat> jump in and enjoy this, I thought I'd show you what the, the crust looks like on the underside. Nice and toasty, nice and crispy and all the toppings fully melted. 
nice glass of wine, beautiful evening by the lake, bon appetit.